He made history when he was elected as the first black sheriff in Florida since the end of Reconstruction. That was 1995. His is a story of determination and perseverance. He rose through the ranks of the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office to become the city's top cop in 95. And he's about to make history again when he's inducted tomorrow into the Florida Law Enforcement Officers Hall of Fame. My friend Matt Glover joins us live on The Morning Show. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate that. Now, since I know your story and since you honored me by asking me to MC your retirement dinner, I know a bit about the backstory. So take me back to when you were 17 years old and had a little incident with police. Well, uh, I think it was a significant incident, but uh, actually, uh, when I look at the, my total life, it, it played an important part because I, I was arrested uh, after leaving uh, Morrison Cafeteria and, and uh, for having two napkins in my pocket. And of course, I tried to tell the police officers that um, you know, we use them for handkerchiefs and all of that, and they, they of course, were had other objectives and uh, ended up in jail. But uh, the arrest uh, probably helped me get hired to become a police officer because uh, the mayor of Jacksonville in, intervened at then at that time. Lou Ritter intervened in my uh, application process, and I eventually got an opportunity to take the test to become a police officer. Yeah, so the mayor had to intervene uh, because your brother, you know, on your behalf, went to him, um, and, and it was because you wondered, hey, did that arrest all those years ago get my application kind of tossed to the side and keep me from becoming a police officer? So jumping in time again, you retire as director from JSO, and uh, then um, you have a couple of people who are in your corner and say, you know what? I think you need to make a run for it. So first you have the Reverend John Newman, who had just moved to Jacksonville from Philly, and he had some experience because Philly had some breakthroughs when it came to blacks in law enforcement. And then the Padgett brothers, some lawyers with some experience and clout here in town, further convinced you. And you were known to be a bit of a risk taker, and the rest is history. Yes, uh, all of those played uh, major roles. Actually, my brother connected me with a a law enforcement officer named Marvin Young, and he took me to the mayor's office, told the mayor my story, and after the mayor heard my story, he actually went down to the Civil Service Administration office and insisted that I take the test to become a police officer. And he almost had to be threatening to the, uh, the, the people who were employed there because they made it clear to him they didn't work for the mayor, they worked for a civil service board, but he also uh, was telling them, I'll be appointing a couple of them, so uh, he felt like he can get it done, and he did. And I sit here today, very, very proud of that. Lou Ritter and John Newman, Marvin Young, and yes, uh, my brother, and most of all, the Padgett's. You know, uh, Steve actually ran for governor at one time, and I think his brother, Gary, at that time was the, his uh, uh, campaign manager. So uh, they had some experience, and for whatever reason, uh, I always say uh, it was divine intervention because the Lord put them in my path, and they decided to, uh, to help me if I made up my own mind to do it. Now, I know, you know people usually go into the Hall of Fame, and they're retired, and they go quietly. Uh, you've got to be excited about tomorrow, but you never retire, you never go quietly. What's next? Well, actually, uh, I think this is a special award. I mean, anytime you appear, the people that do the, that, that, that do the same thing that you do uh, decide to recognize you and honor you with the Hall of Fame award here in this case, I think it's very, very special. But, uh, but as you know, uh, it's, it's hard to retire because uh, there's always something else, and so I'll continue to be the, the public servant that, uh, that have uh, been uh, what I always wanted to do anyway. You've always made a difference in this community and will continue to do so. Matt Clover, pleasure talking to you and seeing you again. Thank you. Thank you, Bruce.